Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be checking out two of the new LEGO Lightyear sets. We have the XL15 Spaceship and also the Zerg Battle. The Zerg Battle box art is awesome. I love how we have Zerg on this snowy planet here. We've got some of the characters there and also Buzz Lightyear flying in the air there. Over here we have the XL15. Once again, the box art is awesome. We've got Buzz Lightyear right there in the bottom left corner and the XL15 flying through space. On the side of the boxes, you can see some of the minifigures that are included in these sets. We actually get two different Buzz Lightyears. And there's a one of one scale image of each of those minifigures on top of the boxes. The XL15 comes with 497 pieces on the back of the box here. You can see it being displayed on its UCS style stand with the specifications plaque. We've got Buzz right there and some interior details. And then the back side of the ship right here with some of the minifigures represented on the box art. They look really awesome. I like the minifigures in that set there. Then we have the Zerg battle with 261 pieces. You can see Izzy comes with a little stud shooter there. We've got Buzz Lightyear attacking Zerg on the snowy planet once again. Let's crack them on open and see what's inside. The Zerg battle has two building stages, one instruction manual and one sticker sheet. The XL15 has five building stages, a larger instruction manual, and also a sticker sheet with the specification sticker for the plaque. So I decided to build Zerg first. Save the best for last, you know? He's a pretty cool mech. He's not that tall though, especially when you compare him to, you know, the Buzz Lightyear mech from a number of years ago. Not as tall, not as big, but he is very detailed. I love his headpiece there. It's very cool. Also, he's got all sorts of sticker elements all over his body there to represent Zerg, of course. He's got his purple color, and this little dish element right here is actually a print piece, which is nice. You can see his feet there, which are reversible, and also his head can spin 360 as well. So that's pretty awesome. And I like his shoulder pads there, and just sort of pretty cool and nicely detailed with some sticker elements on the back. Pretty nifty build, and I like the use of like the shield tiles and all sorts of different parts and elements in there. I'm not a huge mech collector. In fact, I only have, I think, like three mechs. I guess we can compare this with like the Hulkbuster that I have too, and of course the Buzz Lightyear that I have. I'm just surprised that it's much smaller than the older mechs. A huge strength for this set, I believe, is the minifigures. The minifigures are awesome. So we get this cat right here, known as Socks. So apparently it's a robotic cat. That's what the description on the LEGO website says. And then we get Izzy Hawthorne right here, Buzz Lightyear, of course, and then this buildable robot right here, known as E-R-I-C or Eric. I really enjoy these minifigures. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, that's probably not the right noise, but starting with Buzz Lightyear here, you can see they've attached this long red antenna there to represent his wrist firing laser action. I love that. He also comes with a blaster. This can very easily be removed. And yeah, look, he's got the blaster, all sorts of print detailing on his torso and legs and also on his arms as well. Some incredible print detailing and there's multiple pieces. So you got his headpiece, you got his wings on the back there, which are also printed and exclusive to him. The other space ranger does not come with the wings. I really like that, and those can very easily come off. They're attached using two studs. You can see there's some print detailing on the back of his head there. And, of course, his Space Ranger sort of suit can be removed. There is no dome element that goes over his head, but this can be removed here to reveal more of that print detailing on his torso. Really nice. And also, this further reveals the print detailing on his arms. Very cool minifigure. Also, he has the alternate head. Let's just throw his shoulders back on there. And his alternate head is right here. There you go. And the cool thing about his head is that it actually has an alternate face as well, a more serious face. So there's like three different options with this minifigure here. Definitely the star of the show from this set. Everybody wants a new and improved Buzz Lightyear minifigure. That's from the live action, uh, wouldn't call it live action, but somewhat live action movie that's going to be coming out that I'm super hyped for, obviously. 
And here is Eric, or E-R-I-C. You can see he's got a little arm prodding at you there. He's got some sticker detailing on the front there. I like this part usage right here with the horn inside, and that uh, just adds that red detail right there. Uh, for the eye, got some more sticker detailing up top there, and then just some smooth tile finish there. So pretty neat little robot build. So here's Izzy. She comes with the stud shooter there. Her arm detailing is actually different but I believe the body detailing is the same or torso detailing is the same as Buzz Lightyear and same with her uh, top piece here. She does not come with the wings and then she does have an alternate face as well with the hair component. And just like Buzz, she has two different facial expressions there as well. In addition to the minifigures, you also get this accessory right here that can be held by a minifigure. I believe it's like an energy core or a battery or something like that. And it's actually created using a one by one printed brick. So there we have the Zerg battle. Overall, I was pretty impressed by it. I'm not a huge collector of mechs, so it's not really up my alley. I do like the print piece that's included on Zerg. I also love his head piece there. And of course, the minifigures are the star of the show. I love that, really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to build the next one, which of course is the XL-15 spaceship. Wow, the XL-15 is sick. I love this thing. It is incredible. And you know what I really like about it? I like the fact that the minifigures are completely different from the minifigures from the Zerg set. Like there you have Buzz, right? And a different spacesuit. And then we have these two characters right here as well, which is Darby and also Mo. So yeah, completely different. We'll have a look at those in one second. But yeah, this is a really neat spaceship right here. You can see we've got the specifications black right here. And I think that actually identifies what our little accessory is right here. I believe it's the fuel for the spaceship, which is Crystallic Fusion. You can see the fuel right there. Now, navigation answers a question that I had. Ivan, right? Internal voice activated navigator. That's what Ivan is, right? Ivan was uh, mentioned in one of the movies when uh, Buzz was trying to contact Ivan. So the ship is awesome. It sits on the stand at a perfect angle there. Uh, you've got your large yellow windscreen, and it's just got a really dynamic shape that I, I really do like. Uh, the wings are just at that perfect angle there locked in place in the bottom using some Technic pins. I like the color combination, you know, the yellow windscreen, the white and the blue. These gaps and everything in here are just perfect in the way that it's filled in using those cheese wedges. Then you've got the two fins in the back here along with the uh, thrusters. Very neat. And those thrusters can actually rotate, which is pretty cool. We've got some interesting pieces down here that I've never seen before. You see those to create that on the bottom there, sort of like the landing gear. Pretty awesome. We got a hatch right here that can open up both on the back and also on the top, just like that there. You can stow away some stuff in there. And then of course the windscreen will open as well. And there's actually a printed tile in there, a triangular printed tile that I've never seen before. There it is there. So I think that's a pretty neat piece. Also inside you've got a flight stick that's a microphone and two little control panels that are created using sticker elements. But I really like how uh, these back thrusters were crafted here and just sort of these angles here with these cheese wedges. Looks really neat. Then also you have some exposed studs here with those brackets. I think that looks pretty cool. Very easily just goes into the display stand with the Technic axle that just goes into the bottom of it. And then of course you've got the Star Command logo and XL15 all over the ship. I love these angled slopes right here to create that Awesome angle. Also, I've never seen these before. I know it's a basic piece, but I've never seen it before. Well, I've probably seen it before, I just can't recall, but it's actually a one by three right there with two of the upward clips. I just think that's an interesting piece that allows you to clip two things like that, you know, one set apart. So yeah, pretty cool piece. And here's a closer look at that other piece that we saw underneath to create sort of the landing gear. I think that's pretty interesting too. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And then also the thruster, you can actually see that it's two different elements and they're just held together by a Technic axle and they just go in like that. And then this one can rotate and then this just sticks onto the uh, back of the ship like so. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty awesome part usage. And overall, just a great looking ship and the minifigures are outstanding as well. So you get this computer here and once again, this little accessory and you get Socks the Cat in this set as well. Then you get Buzz Lightyear 
Completely different than the other Buzz Lightyear, right? Pretty awesome. He actually has a different headpiece too. He's got the light blue suit on. He's got the helmet that goes on there. And then he's got an orange jumper on. Sort of reminds me of Luke Skywalker's jumper, but a really cool uh, print piece for the torso and legs. No arm print detailing on this one here. But of course he got some on the back. And he comes with, uh, once again, the alternate Buzz Lightyear head with the two faces. So that's a pretty cool minifigure. I like how it's different from the one in the Zerg set. Here you go, I noticed an error in the instruction manual. It's pretty funny, look, it shows them putting the hair piece on top of that head there when it should be swapping the head. <laughs> I thought that was just funny. Next up we have Mo Morrison right here. Comes with this really cool like harpoon-like weapon, which is pretty neat. And then he's got like a different helmet here, different set of shoulder pads there, a smiling face, and you can actually put his hair on if you'd like. So an alternate face with the hair piece. I love his beard, yeah, very cool. And then his shoulder pads, and you can see there's a bunch of print detailing on the torso and legs. And then this is Darby Steel right here. She comes with this gigantic gun that's essentially the size of her. It's like an over-the-shoulder blaster. She once again comes with different shoulders uh, in the dark green, the same helmet as Mo. Alternate face for her. One smiling, one a bit grumpy. Also, you can put her hair on. Get some gray hair like that there. And then it's the same printed torso for her as Mo. But some really cool figures, that's for sure. So there we have the two new Lightyear sets. The XL-15 Starship. Very cool. Love that. It's awesome. Mini figures, top notch. Incredible. That's for both sets. Zerg Battle, pretty amazing. Not a huge fan of Max myself, but this one is pretty neat, you know? I like it. I'll, I'll give it a pass, that's for sure. Wish it was a little bit bigger, though, maybe. I love this thing. It's a beautiful display piece. I wonder if we're going to get any more sets besides the other ones that, of course, are on the LEGO website. Like, are we going to get a new Buzz Lightyear mech? I don't know. Everybody, that's really about it for today. Just wanted to review these two sets and share my thoughts on them with you. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future. And thank you so much for coming on by.